Welcome back to the Hot Pot of Coffee podcast. My name is Brad. I'm Amanda. I was going to say, my name is Amanda and see what you did. <laughs> uh, welcome to the New Year's special. It's so is special. Is it a special? If, you know. <laughs> if it comes out every week, it I don't think it's still special. Um, it's been kind of a weird week. Um, we launched the YouTube uh, channel last week. That is being taken from our GoPro footage there. Hi. You can't see that if you're listening to the podcast, um, which we'd much rather you have listening on iTunes. But if you want to see us in all of our glory, which isn't much, uh, we're HPOC podcast on uh, YouTube. I did jack shit this week, uh, this yeah, last seriously. week, and which is fine. So Amanda was in... The worst state? The best state. Get the <laughs> hell out of here. Northern. Uh, I guess you were in the good part. So I was um, in the good uh, part. Amanda was in California for the last week. And what did you do? Oh, my God. I missed my ASMR podcasting. <laughs> um, I visited my family. I got to see my mom, my brother. This is so fucking exciting. <laughs> so Great. So exciting. Yeah. Well, I mean... The best part, of course, was the 12-hour drive up there. I don't know if a guy could do that drive without, like, stopping and jerking off. It's 12 fucking hours. Yeah. Thanks for... Pro <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but that's my cat running up my stairs as fast as he can. He's just an asshole. He's like, I'm going to wait till they start recording and then just fucking pitter-patter up the stairs as fast as I can. Um, God, you know what? I've said this so many times and I hate having to say it again. I... If, if the podcast sounds different, we got the last piece of equipment in. <laughs> it will never be the last piece That's of equipment. That's so true. Um, but we were recording and doing videos on this PC, this all-in-one PC I had for work. Uh, it's a piece of shit. And as someone who's uh, <laughs> you know normally used to having like really nice towers and shit when I was a kid, um, I had this like shitty desktop and we were recording on this desktop and doing the video. And the computer just like fucking shut off on me while Amanda, <laughs> while, while you were in California, I was editing a video and the computer just shut down because it couldn't take it. I'm pretty sure this has like four, this thing has like four gigs of dedicated RAM and like a CPU GPU integrated, which you have no fucking idea what yeah, I'm talking about. what are you about. saying? Um, so I, it was time for me to, I had a MacBook a while ago. Am I a Mac fan? No. Not oh, Mac stop. fanboy. It just is good for what I need. And my last Mac, honestly, like, and I... Macs are wonderful, don't even. I grew up as a PC guy. And I love PC, especially for coding and stuff. But my last Mac lasts me eight years. They last forever. So I got the new 15-inch MacBook Pro, 16 gigs of RAM. Yeah, he's like, he texted me. He was like, I went to the Apple store. And he was like, don't ask. And I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> it costs as much as a car. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, don't ask. I got this sweet case, though. It makes it look like a tough book because I'm so tough. It's an alpha male book. Stupid. <laughs> I call tough books <laughs> alpha male books. Oh, God. I want to make a new line of computers called alpha male books and just sell them at, like, Florida State. <laughs> Everyone will buy them. Um, anyway... So I have everything in here, all this audio equipment hooked through. This thing only has USB-C ports. I don't know. Like I, This I is USB-C. That's, that's great. It's like, imagine like you're fucking this thing forever. Like imagine you're having sex with a woman and like you were with her for like 17 years and all she had was like fucking roast beef curtains. Oh right? And then you guys get a divorce and then you find someone who has like a nice looking pussy and you're like, oh my God, those exist? And so that's what this is like. See it? See, it's all like nice and... Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what that's so like. So USB-C USB ports are like nice, clean pussy. Mm, okay. And so I, I'm getting used to it. <laughs> <laughs> no. But everything needs a fucking dongle and shit and it's insane. But... um. So every, all the audio is hooked in through here, and I'm using the uh, audio programs uh, now through my Mac, which is really crazy because, like, the audio interface, I, I didn't realize I'd have to set it all up again. Oh, my God. So I have to do that. But now everything is, is on here. So we're recording this podcast. and First of all, how silly is the word dongle? 
Like, what the fuck is that? It's a very rapey word. So we're going to talk about that. <laughs> Things that are going to go away in 2019, the word dongle is going to be sexual harassment. <laughs> we're going to talk about this. But um, I'm getting like really into this because I'm re- into this. But, um, oh, it just messaged me right now. Upgrade to the newest Mac OS. Um, oh, my God. Not right now. Get off your fucking computer. Well, I need it now because now I can see everything in front of me. So um, what was I saying? So if it sounds different, I'm going to do my best to make sure it doesn't sound you different. You went off on a 20-minute tangent. No, like, it's been, oh, it, it's been five it, minutes. If it, if it sounds but different. What I'm saying is now I can record this. Once we're recording, I can take my GoPro and this. And, oh, sorry, I burp. Uh, no, Ew, that was gross. I almost threw up on so the mic. Disgusting. I can take it wherever. we Like we're going to San Diego for the weekend. And I can take it with me and work on and, shit. And work on it like over, you know, in my living room overlooking the beach. Yeah, because that's what we're going to be doing. That's what I'll be doing. It's Not freezing cold there. What are you going to be doing? Freezing cold? I don't like the beach, so oh, I don't know. You don't like the beach? Then why are we going to San Diego? To chill? Oh my God. In La Jolla and go to the Peter Lake Gallery? Oh. Oh, wait till you see our Peter Lake. Anyway, I'm getting off tangent here. Okay. So We're on the podcast. I was, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, speaking of getting off on tangent. Oh, that sounded so wrong. You meant for it. <laughs> speaking to sound of getting wrong. off on tangents, and tangents is the girl next door. <laughs> no, we just watched that Black Mirror episode. I mean, we haven't even finished it yet. We dude, keep, we I don't think you can finish it. We keep choosing the wrong thing. No, I don't think you can finish it. It just goes on forever. I think it goes on forever. That's the game. That's, That's the, the game. whole part of it. Someone's going to die. Everyone died. No, like in real life, trying, oh, to, trying finish to finish it. trying to finish it. So if you don't know, Black Mirror released this fucking like new interactive episode on Netflix. And it's no longer Netflix and chill. It's Netflix and decide. <laughs> <laughs> you can't chill. It's like a game. It's fucking crazy. And when you choose wrong, it's like, it's oh. It's like the, did you ever have those Goosebumps? Yeah, it's Choose Your Own Adventure. Yeah, those were so fun. Yeah. Was it Goosebumps or Animorphs? No, it was Goosebumps. Goosebumps. Yeah, Animorphs was totally... Totally different. I can't wait for an Animorphs movie to come out. I'm so fucking excited. What Animorph would you be? Oh my god. Probably the bird. Like with the hawk. No fucking... No way. Why? You? What? You're 100% Red Panda. Oh my god. How am I Red Panda? Because someone could just come around the corner and you'll just be like, ah! And then like fake dead. That's not at all. I'm a fucking... Gazelle. No, <laughs> you expected me to say lion or something. No, I didn't. Now, if I could be an animorph, like any animorph, I think like dolphin. But then you can only be in water. Yeah, but that's a lot more You're real estate. You're terrified of open water. Not as a dolphin. <laughs> can you imagine a dolphin who's a fr- Oh my God, this is another <laughs> thing for Zach. A dolphin who has... What's the fear called where you're... Fear of open water. Yeah, what's the fear of open water? I don't remember. Oh, God. I can't remember. Um, Let me Google it. Yeah, Google that shit really quick. And and write that down. Because I'm going to show these. <laughs> when Nick and Zach is on. Yeah, because he, you know, we talked about it on a previous episode, but Zach had the ideas for like the emergency seal and the ordinary zoo. Um, thalassophobia. Thalassophobia. Thalassophobia? Thalassophobia. So a dolphin who has thalassophobia. <laughs> so it's just a dolphin who's afraid of open water. So, r- so write that funny. down in a notepad or text I'm that to me. I'm just gonna screenshot. That. Okay, um, and then ordinary <laughs> Batman. Um, ordinary Batman. Yeah, he that goes to the grocery store. He's like, "Can I get some menthols? <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have any of those? Wait, what's? Oh, do you have any mint jewels? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Are you out of jewel pods? God damn it! <laughs> it's I'm like just Dick's imagining Batman. Ba- Batman like. Puffing on his jewel. Oh God, we're not. We're ten minutes in, and what are we drinking? Wine. That's gonna be like our shirts. What are we what drinking? What are we drinking? Um, it's called Old Vine Zinfandel. It's from Lodi, California. My dad gave it to me, so we didn't have to buy alcohol this week. Let Thanks, me, Dad. Let me waft this shit. <laughs> it's actually really good. Ew. <laughs> Don't worry. I if you are seeing on the video, I almost just spilled this, but I have Apple Care, so. Oh hush. Okay, let's taste. You've never gone wine tasting, have you? <laughs> Ew. Ooh. It's good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Where's it from? Lodi. You don't know where that is, so it doesn't matter. But it's nearby my mom's house. Um, Speaking of douchey things, 
Where's my <laughs> Where's my e-sick? Oh God! I'm sorry. I hope. Second. I hope. Oh, talk. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Okay. This, this is like uh, an everyday occurrence. Where's my jewel? I got it. Hey. Hey, I, I left my jewel in the car. Don't make fun of me. You can't go 20, <coughs> 20 minutes. Okay, I'm back. I should really, I should like hit a stopwatch every time and see how long it takes you. You should hit a shut the fuck up. Oh, really? Should every I? time I tell you to. No. Got it. No. Okay, New Year's. What about it? Oh, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> so... What I wanted to do is we're, we're going to do uh, two things for New Year's. So this is a New Year's episode. So um, the first thing is things we want to die in 2019. It can be people, but it should also – it can be like trends. Oh, good. Or like um, like just things in general that like kind of started up in 2018 that need to just die. So does it have to be that they started in 2018? No, but okay. like in the last like few like yeah, yeah. things that are fucking annoying, and then um, these aren't written down right. Like I didn't think of any. I can I'm think just of gonna, like, like six right now, just looking at you. Yeah. Okay. You go first, and then I'll go <laughs> second, and then you go third. There's only two of us, so. I hate. I want the word flex to die. Oh. I want it to fucking die. Okay. I hate. I'll. I'll, I'll I'll be pushing off of that. I want send it to die. Send it is a rock climbing term. I want send it to fall off the face of that rock. <laughs> um, send it needs to die. Mm-hmm. Uh, would you say flex? Yeah, flex. I fucking drip. Mean. What? Yeah, people call like what they're flexing drip. That's so like, stupid. Like drip is the noun. That's flexing that's... is a verb. I can't. <laughs> Legit is an adjective. <laughs> yeah, I get that. Did I get those right? I'm so proud of myself. Actually, legit is an adverb because it's legitimately. No one can hear you. Everyone can. I'm so I'm trying to get used to this audio. It sounds so weird to me. It doesn't sound weird. My voice doesn't sound different. No. Okay. I still oh, sound like a kind I of want. gay Jew. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Um. Mint and jewels. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Those need to fucking die. Did you hear that Jewel did so well that they gave, uh, what was it, all of their employees this year got a at least, I think on average, a $1.2 million bonus. They did not. Yes, I swear to God. Look that shit up. I'll do it later. Yeah, well, <laughs> Legitsky or like 150 Legitsky. of their employees. Um, What do I want to die? Oh, you know what I want to die? Our president. You can't say that. <laughs> I didn't. You can't say that I didn't shit. Say it. No that matter. Was, that was just a question. Like, is that what you want? Oh no. Okay. I neither confirm nor deny anything. <laughs> I will never say something like that on a public <laughs> forum. What the fuck are you thinking? Oh my god. Future doctors of America, everybody. Right here. Yeah. Animal doctors of America. <laughs> Animal doctors of America. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, I didn't mean it. I can't believe you'd say that. Yes, you can. I mean, you have point five. <laughs> yeah. um, God, what else should just go away? Oh, Instagram In- models. Yes, please. I don't think Instagram should be. I mean, I know I talk shit about YouTubers in the last one, but YouTube influencers, and and this wasn't like a bash on like the YouTube career. There, like I said, there are many really awesome, talented people who do YouTube and they've made a great career out of it, and they should. And podcasts. And then there's some take people talent that as well. just don't. Insta like. Shoving a g-string up your asshole and taking a picture on the beach for a bunch of forty-year-old dudes to jerk off to because they've never heard of Pornhub. Can I keep going? Fucking Instagram modeling needs. You're not famous. Yeah. You need to go away. Also, it's so. I don't know. It's... Like it's fine if you're like Johnny's girlfriend, right? She's not. An She's Instagram a real model. model. If you're a real model and you have an Instagram, cool. Well, yeah, that's how they can... If you introduce yourself to me as an Instagram model, I can't. No. They need to go away. Yeah. Um, I agree. Okay, what else needs to die or go away? Right? There's a lot. Yeah, there's too much. Like like everything needs to just stop. Okay, let's switch it up for a second. What do we think will die? I think cable television. Oh, yeah. It's been dying. I think cable TV by the end of 2019 will be fucking gone. 
I don't know about that. There's still some people that. What kind of psychopath watches cable? (laughs) Like, can you imagine? So this is like, like the mind of a psychopath. Someone who watches cable without DVR. What a psycho. Oh my God. (laughs) Watches whatever's on TV at the time and. A lot of people do that. There's no way. No one our age does, but like older people do. They watch the fucking news. Oh, you mean that fictional show? Yeah. I love how the news is more fiction than like Stranger Things. Oh, give me a fucking the, break. Yeah, true. Stranger Things is the best. Yes. Uh, my dad's like addicted now. <laughs> this is the most tangented podcast I think we've done yet. It's because I don't we, think so. Well, you drove for 12 and a half hours today. Actually, I got one hour. I did not. It was like you texted me at five that you were leaving, and you got here at five. Oh, no. it's an hour time difference. Mm-hmm. I got here in eleven hours. I hauled ass, and I fucking hated everyone on the road. I have horrible road rage, so it was terrible. Um, like, why do you drive in the fast lane if you're not going fast? So those people should die. Yeah, those people need to die in 2000. I think a law that should be implemented in 2019, if if you're in the fast lane and you're going under the speed limit, it should be legal to or shoot your tires. the speed limit. Like, that's the fast lane is for going fast. You can't make... I, I agree, but you can't make that argument. Yes, you can. But no, I mean, what I'm saying is... technically the fast lane is the passing lane. So if you're not going... If you're not passing somebody, you shouldn't be in it in the first place. You know what that's funny about the law? There's a passing lane to pass people. But technically, if someone's going the speed limit, you shouldn't pass them. But using that lane is for passing. I mean, so it's, it's against the law. for and- passing slow people or like trucks. God, why do trucks have to fucking pass each other on a two-lane highway? It, oh, that, no. I have that, a theory about that this. That kills me. I, I have a feeling that truck drivers do it because that's when they like, it's like, they're so, that's their thing. Like they jerk off while they're doing it. Oh, they do. Yeah. They like pass each other and they both show each other their dicks and like just come all over the window and then keep going. <laughs> it's like their thing. So I kind of try to give it to them. Um, not that mm-hmm. was gay, <laughs> mm-hmm. but it was, no, it's not gay. They could be female. You don't know. But anyway, that's what I think happens. Okay. I think that's what gets them off. Um, you ever seen those videos of like the little kittens that live with them? And then they're like, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's cute. It's cute. Anyway, back to the, um, <laughs> what else should. Oh, people taking selfies and then falling off of like national monuments. The... No, that should continue. No, but then they ruin it for everyone else because now they're going to put up like a fucking fence around Horseshoe Bend because some like fucking teenager fell off. I'm sorry. Is there like a point to this? All I'm hearing is good things. <laughs> Putting up a fence is not a good thing. Like, don't put up walls. <laughs> don't put up walls, please. No, no walls. Um, let's see. More things that should die in 2019. YouTube should stop trying to do rewind. I had never heard of it before until this year. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks for you. I've been watching them for like five or six Doesn't years. Doesn't suck for me though. The first one. Because they're um, not that great. Yeah, no, I'm trying to think like what should change in 2019. Um, were we doing predictions before? This is just like things we think are going to happen or whatever. Yeah, sure. I think Donald Trump will get impeached. It's, hot. it's looking that way. I mean, but it's been looking that way for the past two and a half years, so. Yeah, I also, I was reading this Vanity Fair article, and they said they think that Joe Biden's going to run for president. Oh, fuck yes. Fucking love Joe Biden. You're so good. Okay, no politics, <laughs> you dumbass. I want the, you brought it up. I, I already know who I want as president and vice president. Who? I want The Rock as president okay. and Jimmy Fallon as vice president. Oh, my God. You already said this. Yeah, just because any national emergency, we have The Rock, and then Jimmy can just like any... The Rock doesn't actually know how to do don't you fucking say that i will say it oh my god god um i don't know i just i i fucking hated this year 2018 was terrible that's i feel like that's the consensus from everyone like what what good happened in 2018 
I'm sure there's a article about all the good things that happened in 2018, but I can't think of any. Hey, that's a good idea. You're going to look it up. Yeah. So let's open up this and let's go to Google. Google.pornhub.com. And um, <laughs> best things that happened in 2018. I'm sure oh, I'm so 50 good things that have happened. Oh, oh, no, that was in June. We can't do that. It's still 2018. We live in the worst of times, but amid the bar. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this article. Um, okay. Let's see. Oh, okay. Facebook finally got called out for their shenanigans. That was, was that a good? I That's mean, a great thing. Okay. But I mean. Mark they, Zuckerberg they is a lizard. Have, they shouldn't have been having their shenanigans in the first place. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> They're a multi-billion dollar corporation that takes people's information. They're pieces of shit. Mark Zuckerberg. They literally say in the terms of agreement that everyone agrees terms to. Terms of agreement? Terms of agreement. Terms of service? No, the, the terms of agreement or whatever it's called. Oh, oh child. Shut up. <laughs> no, they were selling data to Cam Cambridge Analytica. And Cambridge Analytica was using it to target specific people for... Anyway, okay. they were they were doing a lot of stuff against the law. Let's see. Meghan Markle joins the royal family. I don't know. I miss her on Suits. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a good thing? Ireland so? ended the abortion ban. Finally, I can go to Ireland. <laughs> 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 oh, Jesus. Um, things I don't care about. House prices corrected in Australia. Um, the tide turned against single-use plastic. I'm still bummed about this. Um, my pet sea turtle loves straws. So. Oh, fuck you. <sighs> Your pet sea turtle's dead. There, there's nothing he likes more than plastic straws and those six-pack rings. Oh, yeah. That's good. It's real cute. Uh, he is cute. In plastic no. bags. He's dead now. He but thinks he's they're jellyfish. Yeah, he totally died. Oh, my God. I forgot about this one. The Thai cave rescue. Oh, yeah. How's that a good thing, though? They got stuck there in the first place. All of these are Dude, like backhanded good things. Do you things. know how angry their boss was that all of these Thai kids weren't working in the factory? Oh my god, they were like a <laughs> soccer team. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, good one, Brad. That was very good and that was very rude and it was perfect. Good job. It was not good at all. Okay, let's go. Let's keep going. <laughs> Hannah Gadsby? Oh, that was a comedian now. I'm good. Mm -hmm. Oh, Childish Gambino kind of blew I mean, blew up more. We had Bonfire and like all those before. But this is America like really blew up. Like the music, yeah. the music video. I think people like took it a little too far though. I don't think so. Looking back on This is America, I wasn't it. That, that went a little far. No, it didn't. <sighs> it didn't go far. No. <sighs> oh, stop. I don't know. It was kind of like. No. Just don't. Just don't. Just don't what? Just don't. Why are you so like butthurt about This Is America? I love that song. It's a good song, yeah. but it got overplayed way too quickly. Well, I don't listen to the radio. I didn't. You know what I liked more? I liked the remixes more. Like This Is Wakanda. <laughs> I did not like the remixes more. Uh, I thought they were lame. This is a side side note. Some um, reporter on Twitter said they were offering $300 to any reporter in the White House who would seriously ask Trump in the middle of a press conference how he felt about Uganda or you Ugan w Wakanda. Wakanda. Uganda. <laughs> Uganda. That's two different kind it's that's like a real Uganda. effect. Of uh, Wakanda, the conflict in Wakanda. But like in like seriously. That'd be amazing. Yeah. Because you know he'd answer. Oh yeah. He'd be like, you know what? It's great. It's the greatest <laughs> conflict. We love it. That was like Barack Obama mixed with Trump. I know. How dare <laughs> we you? Love it. Oh, whoa. That was very loud. That was loud. We love it. This is a great conflict. Please uh, stop. It's the best. I don't like you mixing them. They should um, never be Ooh, mixed. you know what a shit fucking year? What? Who do you think had... Uh, you know, I can see. Okay. So, 2018, worst year. Who had the worst year of 2018 who is... Who's still alive to go into 2019? Who had the worst 2018? I don't know. That can be literally anyone. Oh, no. Who? This is a pretty obvious one. Think about it for a second. I, oh, my God. Who had the worst 2018? I have no idea. Ariana fucking Grande. Oh, my God. Okay. 
a bomb mm-hmm. in London, right? It was Manchester. Manchester. Whatever. Don't tell soccer Wait, fans. Wait, that wasn't 2018. Wasn't it? No, that was last year. Look that shit up right now. It was last year. I'm pretty sure you're no, right. No, it was last year. <laughs> nah, see? You're <laughs> a fucking up. idiot. I <laughs> uh, know. Seriously, look it up. Though. I am looking it All up. All right, but now, like... We're, we're recording, so if you could do that quicker, that'd be great. Oh my god, shut the Unbelievable. You guys see what I'm fucking dealing with here with this podcast? I'm looking at... I'm actually just looking at it. It was 2017. Okay, so 2018. <laughs> okay, who said the worst year and a half? Ariana Grande. Um, Not to mention, one of her exes dies, mm-hmm. commits suicide, and then the other one is on the fence about committing suicide. Pete Davidson, please do not do it. I also have BPD, and my friend, don't do it, okay? But that's neither here nor there. Ariana Grande, Jesus fucking Christ. Can you imagine what would happen to that girl if another ex killed himself? No. Yeah, I don't know either. That, I, I don't have a witty response to that. Jesus. Yeah, she'd be terrible. She'd be like, dude, that'd wreck a motherfucker. Whether or not I like Ariana or don't, I actually have no feelings towards her either way. Were you listening to the podcast with me about uh, Kai, how Kaya feels about her? It's just her ass. Like, yeah, it doesn't <laughs> Kaya loves her, her ass. At all. I've actually never really looked at her ass. This is surprising. I only, I can't actually think of what it looks like. I, I don't think I've ever looked at her ass. I know what her face looks like. That's good. She's that's cute, start. but she looks as old as you look. Oh wow! You're probably older than her too. That's the thing. I think I am. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, no, I don't think I've ever like looked at her sexually. Okay. I don't know why. I've got to change it. Do you? <laughs> I don't think you do. Yeah. I think it's fine. Mm. Just keep it Hit going. us up, Ariana. We'll have you on the podcast <laughs> and we can talk about this. Please, no. <laughs> um, is that it for this list? For that, those are the only good things that happened. There was like five things. No way. Yeah. Ooh, top ten list. Worst things that happened in 2018. Oh, God. I like this. Ooh, Okay. Top 10, this is from the Top 10 website. Oh, okay. This is how much I'm fishing for content right now. (laughs) So if you can't tell, we kind of like didn't have prepared content for this podcast because there's so much shit. Really? That fucking airplane had to go by right now. Yeah. They're just driving by like, fuck you, Brad. (laughs) I'm just making sure to end your 2018 just right. Anyway, um... Top 10 worst things that happened in 2018. Let's see if we agree or disagree with these. Should we start at uh, number 10 and work our way to number one? I think that's how that works, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, Well, then I have to scroll down and then go back up. So number 10, the death of Stephen Hawking. That deserves to be on there. Yeah, it does. I agree. Um, Let's see what they have to say. Rip. This guy was a legendary Classic. scientist. Who um, wrote this? <laughs> oh my god. Someone wrote, Stephen had a good life even though he was handicapped. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit, that's so fucked up. It's true, but it's so fucked up. Number nine, the Alberta Spring Flooding. I don't remember that. Is this a Canadian website? Yeah, maybe. It's all going to be things that happen in Canada. Whoa, number eight. People discovered chained to their beds in California. Yeah, I remember that. that Kids were found malnourished and chained. The people... Uh, oh my God, what? Yeah, that was crazy. I didn't hear about this. Are you serious? This is some Grand Theft Auto V shit. <laughs> that is this like a pedo or something? It was like a family and they had all these like... like I don't remember if they were like foster kids or adopted. They or exercising they were them or were they... What the fuck? Yeah, it was fucked up. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, no. Number seven. XX Tentacion shot to death. I'm sorry, what? SoundCloud rapper. No. Tentacion? No. XXX Tentacion shot no. to death. I don't know a single lyric from a single song. All I know is this one. Eh. I'm sure that's somewhere. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeet. Yeet. I'm sure that's somewhere. That? Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm sure. What's your favorite song? Uh... Yeet. Yeah, I love that song. <laughs> Stupid. So, what's your favorite SoundCloud rapper? Oh, you know, Mr. Face Tattoo? Yeah, I love Mr. Face Tattoo. <laughs> um, 
I like how someone wrote. It encompasses so many rappers. I like how someone wrote on this. He saved my life through his music, and someone wrote, "Too bad you couldn't save his." Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I love how this says an innocent soul has passed away. Tentacion was not innocent. He had a fucking criminal wreck. Get the fuck out of here. I'm sorry, but anyone with face tattoos all over themselves, except for our uh, boy Posty. Posty, Postmates, Post. Postmates post Malone. Post note. <laughs> post note Malone. I want to make a Post Malone statue out of Post-it notes oh, and perfect. send it to him. And be like Post. Post it nope. Malone. Post it Malone. Send it Malone. <laughs> God. Oh God. How do you get used to this? I'm like too close to the mic now that we have a different audio setup. Um, anyway, let's move. Uh, number six, shootings. That's all it says. Well, there were a lot, so how can you really narrow it down? Um, oh, this must be a Canadian website. Guns should be banned, period. We're not getting into that, but... Okay, please don't. Um, oh, shut the fuck up. I'm guns on the counter. Oh, my God. Um, yes, shootings were bad, but this is something that I think... Um, Oh, All I want to say we're about not this gonna is, get into it, but you're going to get into it? Yeah. I want to say one thing should be stopped in 2019. We need to stop showing the shooters' faces on the news and glorifying them. That's what the fuck they want. No, it's true. Like, if someone does something, like, there's a, but the news, the media will never do it. They want to vilify people and they want to, like, get all this attention and stuff. But in the reality of it is a lot of these people want attention, especially in this fucking Instagram world. Um stop like philip defranco said and like what he does fucking stop if someone commits a tragedy yeah put their name up but a lot of people have the same name right yeah do do not put their picture up do not glorify them anyway number five burger king foot that sorry it's a meme uh florida bridge claps what i don't remember that i know a bridge no wait in florida this is not, there had to be way worse things that happened in Florida. <laughs> Something were, worse than a bridge collapse happens mean. every day <laughs> in Florida. Just, I have, I do not remember this. Florida bridge collapse. I feel like I would have heard about it. My aunt lives in Florida. Yeah, well, you're going to have to YouTube the fucking next one or. I 175 foot long recently erected. Oh God, that's a huge <laughs> cock. 175 foot cock. Yeah. Eight vehicles were crushed underneath, which resulted in six deaths and nine injuries. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. So two of the cars were driverless? <laughs> oh, my God. They just didn't die. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like what I did there? Did you know in our state, uh, Waymo is starting here? Speaking of driverless cars. Really? Yeah, the driverless car, Google's driverless cars starting here. Have, did you ever see that video of the driverless car where it just like hit a person and they have that video footage of it and it's terrifying? Oh no, like normal people. Even some guy <laughs> today, I was watching YouTube and he was talking about it. We'll get back to the list in a second. He was talking about it and he's like, okay, like 40,000 people die in car accidents every year. And the statistics show that even at this rate, if there were all driverless cars on the road, it would only cause about 400 deaths a year. But people will even go, oh, well, that's 400. And it's like, dude, you're killing 40,000. I think 400 is more acceptable. Yeah, but we're also not going to be 100% driverless. Ooh, I don't know. Give it a few generations, and I guarantee you it'll be illegal I to drive. I think so. I think the only people who... I would feel very uncomfortable Here's a that. prediction for 2059. The only people who will be allowed to drive are law enforcement. Everyone else will be driverless. You'll own your own vehicle. I don't like that. You can own your own vehicle, but you won't drive. No, I love it. Just jerk off in the car, but it's illegal. Really? I don't know. Really? It's like, but that'll make roadhead safe. True. <laughs> True. Okay. Okay. This one I don't get either. Bomb cyclone. Number four, bomb cyclone. That was the, um, the bomb cyclone is the, the crazy like hurricane that happened, isn't it? I think that's a cyclone. No, the fuck's no. a bomb cyclone? That was the thing. I remember it. I remember the phrase bomb cyclone. Yeah, blasting the East Coast. Oh, it was the polar vortex. Oh. That was the crazy winter. That oh, that had. was the polar bear queef. Yeah. Why didn't they just call it polar bear queef? Because they can't. Hurricane polar bear queef. <laughs> <laughs> it's hurricane polar bear queef. <laughs> yeah, that was the crazy January 2018 North American blizzard. 
I live in Arizona. Didn't hear about it. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Number three is perfection. People eating Tide Pods. Oh yeah. I mean, was that really the worst thing? That was the best thing. That was hilarious. Of, that was hilarious because some people died. And they deserve to. <laughs> More people should have died. Yeah, it's true. And you know what's the worst thing to come out of that? You know what? And it says people eating Tide Pods, but I want to change number three. Tide having to change their containers because people are too fucking stupid to not eat Tide Pods. Yeah. They look delicious. But, <laughs> like, don't eat it. Now, now there's a difference, though. Remember that, what's that, like, uh, cleaning shit, that um, fit Fabuloso or whatever? What? You know what I'm talking about? It's a cleaning I mean, agent. No, it's I'm called like right. Fabuloso. Maybe it's just like in Arizona or New Gallus or something. But it's like it looks – the the label is like rainbows and like all of that. Uh -huh. And then the the bottle looks like a juice bottle. Okay, but you can look at it and be like, oh, this is no. bleach. I'm not going to No, no, no. It's like purple this. and bright green. It's a like cleaning Again, agent. you still wouldn't drink it. No, it looks like a Gatorade. But you wouldn't drink it. No, because I'm smart. Exactly. But what I'm saying is, is that was an issue because kids could see that and not understand. Fucking Tide Pods, man. It wasn't even like little kids. No, it was a challenge on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, it was a challenge. And people I have a new stupid. challenge for YouTubers in, 20, in 2019. Go to college. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they were like 15. Unless you're like already super successful on YouTube... And you dropped out of college to pursue it Should or anything like that? still go to college. No, no, no. No. Yeah. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. I don't believe college is the end for everyone. I don't think everyone needs to go to college. I don't think college helps everybody. I think like at U of A, there was like... Yeah, but it's like you have a YouTube career which could easily just be destroyed so quickly. So could yours. You go through school for all of this vet shit. You know, if you get bitten on the hand by a certain spider and you fucking go paralyzed from the waist down... Okay, well, that could happen with anyone exactly, in any job. but that's job. what I'm saying. Anything could ever happen. But I'm saying, like, like this is what we always used to say to the kids at U of A. Even though the U of A acting program had more Hollywood, like, people come out of it than anyone. Mm -hmm. Like, dude, sure. if you haven't made it by now, <laughs> a degree in theater is not going to help. That's not true. Some actors or like got art, started, like, later in or life. Or, like, if, like, like, an art degree is not going to help you become a famous artist. No, but taking art classes helps, like, hone your craft. Absolutely. You should take art classes. But you shouldn't major in art. But you still get to go to college. Yeah. I mean, I'm not bagging anyone. If you make a career and like you go to school and get higher education, fucking good for you. I am sorry you're in so much fucking debt. Yeah. But whatever. But I mean, if you go anyway, to, you know, state school, number three, not enough people dying from eating Tide Pods. Yeah. Number two, fun. flu outbreak. Well, I, don't even, I mean, what? my brother's got the flu right now. Oh, shit. My mom told me about this, actually. <laughs> No shit. Did you know apparently the flu vaccine they gave this year was wrong? Oh, great. No. Yeah. For real? Uh, I totally forgot that my my mom told me this. They gave the wrong flu. They got it wrong because they do it well, the year have before. To, they have to they guess. guess. Yeah. So that's, that's always a chance that you take. That's why so many people are getting sick. Oh. They got the flu vaccine wrong. It was wrong. So it doesn't cover this like H three and a half... And there is some two. cost protection, though. So you I don't... thought you just said Costco protection. There is Costco protection. I have Apple Care. Does that work? <laughs> Did you get your flu shot? Nope, but I have Apple Care. So I'm good. I should have asked the guy at the Apple store. He's like, do you want Apple Care? I go, no, I got my flu shot. I'm good. <laughs> it's got uh, Costco protection. Okay. Number one, worst things that happened in 2018. They already said that. The Stoneman Douglas school shooting. They already said shooting. I know. This isn't me saying this. This is... Find a different list. This is not a good one. God, I feel like I have to burp, but it's not. Oh there we go. <laughs> oh, this is a way bigger website. And it's got like... Oh, okay. This is a new list. Some uh, new list. This list is called 50 Mind-Blowing Things That Have Happened This Year. Ooh. Already. Oh, wow. I feel like that already wasn't already? necessary. Well, okay, Is it, when was it written? <laughs> um, it's like February 2018. I don't feel like scrolling to the bottom to look. Okay, we'll find out later. Let me see where we're at. Okay, we'll read through these. We won't give as much. Doctors grew a new ear in a soldier's arm. Oh, I did But see can that. you grow a new penis inside the soldier's ear? <laughs> yes, yes, you can. <laughs> I just imagined you with penises hanging out of his ear. <laughs> mm. 
Starts out looking just like a little hair. Um, 13 year old wakes up after being declared brain dead. No, bro, your son was just playing Fortnite. <laughs> Okay, that's something that needs to calm down in 2019. Fucking Fortnite. Fortnite yeah, and the floss dance. Or f- Yeah, oh, okay, things Can that need to die. Can please die? The fucking floss dance. I can't say nothing. Um, we're just going through this. Um, ooh, the Golden State Killer apprehended after 32 years. Let's give a round of applause to those, please. This is the Golden State? I mean, obviously that's in California, but... Well, I'm not 32, so I don't know. Um, <laughs> let's see... Oh my god. Colorado man survives both shark and bear attack. <laughs> wow. Uh, He's get an struck, anomaly. Get struck by lightning. I'll <laughs> fucking blow you, dude. And like hit by a coconut falling. No, oh, that'll kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It's like Colorado man survives shark and bear attack. Killed by son. <laughs> <laughs> Six year old son. Oh god. No, or, or no better. Colorado man survives both shark and bear attack. Die stepping on Lego. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be a good one. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. Uh, scrolling through. Um, oh my God, Boston Dynamics creating those fucking robots. Even more of them this year. Like they can open doors That's now and shit. Not a good thing. That's terrifying. Artificial intelligence Why can't needs they just to die. Like- <laughs> Well, okay, so there was good and bad in the field of robotics. The bad was, yeah, Boston Dynamics made basically war dogs that can open your fucking door. It's terrifying. But the Japanese made a robot that can jerk you off. Its hands are flashlights. No, they did not. I swear to fucking God. No, they did not. Its hands are holding a flashlight, and you put on a VR mask, and it, like, jerks Why you off. Why do you need a robot to jerk you off? You have two perfectly good hands. It's totally different when something else is doing it. No, it's not. Like a flashlight. Then get a girlfriend. Yeah, it's not as easy for everyone. They're not as good looking as I am. Oh, okay. Okay. Well. Um, oh, my God. This was a really cool one this year. Amputee uh, Sha- uh, Sha- Sha- Shaquem Griffin, if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, even though you would never listen to this podcast, I, I apologize. Uh, he made the NFL draft. I don't know if you ever saw this video. He has, like, no hand. And this dude ran the fastest 4-440, and he can catch like a mother. He's so fucking talented. It's That's unbelievable. Amazing. Yeah. Him and his brother. Because he, he doesn't have like a prosthetic or anything. He just... No. He's like really good. That's oh, awesome. this is a very important one. Uh, Bear gets ice cream at Dairy Queen. That is so important. Uh, oh, let's read this. Um, <laughs> uh, board teens. Uh, oh, okay. Let me see. Um, this happened in Alberta when owners of, of course it did. Uh, took one of the owners of the property of a wildlife park, took one of their animals off property and swapped and stopped in for a snack. Oh, so it didn't just like come through the drive through and was like, Brah! there was, I frost. think, oh, we're not frosty. What is it? Dairy queen. Um, Blizzard. Blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was, I can't remember where it was. I feel like it was in. God, I can't remember. It was like a bear came into someone's yard and like drank their margarita and got in their hot tub. And it was so funny. <laughs> Just having a girl's night out in the hot tub with the marg. The marg dog. Yeah. Jeff Bezos creates 10,000 year clock. I guess it's a clock that'll run for 10,000 years. Cool, bro. Okay. I won't be alive, so. Was this like the new Mayan cl- like calendar? Um, <laughs> Hippo accurately predicted the Super Bowl. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was a 50-50 chance. Mm-hmm. But good job. Um, Which hippo? I'm just trying to read Did through. It say? Oh, God. This is definitely the most important one that I don't give two fucks about. Katy Perry and Taylor Swift made up. They were fighting? Oh, yeah. Who I cares? didn't know that they made up. Wow. Dude, they need to get over these. <laughs> they, like, wrote diss tracks about each other. Oh, that needs to die in 2019. <laughs> That's true. The YouTube diss tracks, I cannot stand. Okay, YouTube diss tracks need to fucking die. I'm over it. Like, write a diss track on me. I won't respond. <laughs> I'm too busy having a life and not giving a fuck. And I'll just, like, go... And it's always, like, uh. kind of poorly done. And you're just like, yeah, and then I'll make a response that's like... Poof, 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 poof. Go fuck yourself. That's it. <laughs> and it's gonna win. All right. What's it gonna win, Brad? Like a Grammy? It's going to win me not giving a fuck. Okay. Um, 
Oh, I love this one. Trump got caught paying off that hooker. <laughs> Stormy Daniels. I mean, come on. If you fuck someone named Stormy, like, that's a Pokemon. I not, mean, oh, not Staryu he... or Stormy. Yeah, Stormy. Starmy. Starmy. Wow. Star you and Star me. Yeah. Oh, I get it. <laughs> it's been it a while. It took him 27 since years. I've been. <laughs> Jeez, no. Please stop saying that. Who's that by? It's not Coldplay. No. It's been a while. Oh my God. Since I sing, sing. <laughs> Who is that? It's one of those bands. Type it in right now. Google. It's like. It's been a while. It's like the Pearl Jam sounding bands that were in the two thousand early 2000s. They all sounded the same. Backcountry? <laughs> yes. It's been a while. Stained. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure they are. Um Let's see. Barbara Streisand stri- Barbara Streisand cloned her dead dog. Wow. Was the clone dead too? No. Oh, okay. Well then let's move on. Man eats his 30,000th Big Mac. That's disgusting. Immediately dies. <laughs> no, I'm just Has a, a blocked <laughs> artery heard, almost immediately. I heard this funny comedian thing said to like, he was making fun of one of his like other comedian friends who was fat. And he was like, I would say you have one foot in the grave, but that foot was cut off because of the diabetes. <laughs> and I was like, oh, oh Jesus. That was a good one. Yikes. Um, Let's see. You're calling a horse over? What are you doing? Um, <laughs> oh, gross. A North Carolina restaurant made a tarantula burger. Out of a... What? I will kill myself. That's disgusting. I would kill myself. Why would you do that? Kill myself or eat a tarantula burger? No, why would you make a tarantula burger? I'm glad burger? you can understand why I'd kill myself. <laughs> I don't understand why you would kill yourself. Stop burping. Okay. Uh... Hobby Lobby returns 3,800 smuggled artifacts, and they're what still the fuck? and they're still homophobic. Oh, of course, and they close on Sundays. It's really annoying. Yeah, you know why they close on Sundays? Because yeah. they can go to their favorite restaurant, Chick Fil A. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't get that, you're not woke enough. <laughs> um, robot runs for mayor in Japan. I thought that's been happening for the last 600 years. So. One like the cat wins. <laughs> I love this one. Family accidentally brings home bobcats instead of kittens. Yeah, that happens. There's people that like go out and they're like, oh, this is a lost puppy and it's a fucking coy- coyote. Oh, I remember this one. This was one of my favorite stories. Uh, the woman who was arrested after sending her date 65,000 text messages. Remember that? What? The crazy bitch who went on like one date with a guy and he wouldn't answer her and she sent him 65,000 text messages. Well, that's what he gets for ghosting. No, that's not what he gets for ghosting. <laughs> that's what she gets for hooking up with someone I mean, on Tinder. Like, literally just send one text message that just says, hey, not feeling it. Okay, bye. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, what is this? New York, th- this is just called New York Tiger turns out to be a raccoon. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, a lack of experience with animals led to a misidentification in Harlem on April 12th when police responded to reports of a tiger roaming around the streets. It was, it was just an oversized fat raccoon. <laughs> it's got to be the best fucking thing ever. See, some good things didn't come out of 2018. Mistaking a raccoon for a tiger. Oh, dude, what a crazy one. Texas man steals 1.2 million worth of fajitas. <laughs> <laughs> I would too. Those things are delicious. Book returned to library after 47 years. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's amazing. Uh, someone grew an onion on the space station. Cool, bro. That Can... is cool. You're growing food in space. Someone brought a tiger to prom. That's fucking stupid. Why would you do that? Like an actual tiger. R. Kelly's music removed from Spotify Pandora. Yeah, it's because he removed an underage girl's panties. Yeah. Too soon? No. I don't Let's see. Let's I mean, get one more really good she one. She was. Um, looking through these. Oh, and the number one best thing that happened in 2018. What's Bill Cosby went to prison. Hell yeah. my pudding. You want some of my pudding? 
Mm-hmm. My pudding. Please stop. I'll make some pudding pops. So weird. <laughs> give you my pudding pop. Oh my god. <laughs> Doesn't even sound like it. It's no, just creepy. It's just I'll weird. Some my pudding pop. Please stop. This is my new pudding pop. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll put some batter in your mouth. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. What a fucking crazy year. Amen. I don't even know. I can't even. I can't even with this year, guys. I can't even. I can all. Hashtag New Year, new me. (laughs) That needs to die too. (laughs) All right. Let's. Oh, yeah. Let's do. To close out this podcast for the last podcast of 2018. And hopefully 2019 will be a bigger year for the podcast if things continue how they've been going, which is good. Um, let's close this podcast with our 2019 New Year's resolutions that we won't keep. <laughs> I hate New Year's resolutions. Yes, yeah, the point. I don't even make resolutions. I, I write down a list of places I want to go in, in the next year. Yeah, you need to calm that shit down because you don't deserve a life yet. You're in school. You haven't worked at all, and you don't deserve shit. You fucking it's white privilege girl. It's not even like far. It's just like even like going to like Antelope you Canyon. You don't even... No, oh, cultural appropriation no, please stop. is rude and don't do it. I'm Jewish. I can do it. Um, see, if the media calls me racist, I just call them anti-Semitic. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, anyway, 2019 New Year's resolution. Realistic. Go. What? You go. I'm thinking. All right. My New Year's resolution for 2019 is to grow the Hot Pot of Coffee podcast brand into something that I can do full time and quit my nine to five and do this for a living and expand it into, I mean, we got the hot pot of coffee podcast and iTunes, Spotify. We have the Instagram hot pot of coffee podcast, and we've got the HPSC podcast, YouTube channel. Um, I definitely want, I want to have enough people to make merch so I can make things like glass dildos and Mm -hmm. fishnet condoms. Uh, Great gag gifts. Engraved. Glass dildos. Engraved glass dildos, yeah. for sure. Um, but no, in reality, that's my 2019 uh, resolution is is to keep doing this every single week and hopefully watch it grow. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully that happens. Um, if not, I'll just cry myself to sleep and uh, take a bunch of pills. Um, no. <laughs> what about you? No. Um... I would like to go to at least five more national parks this next year. Have fun with that. I will. I'll drag you to all of them. No, I'm, I'm not going. <laughs> but you can have fun. No. Um, I have no interest. Okay. Um, unless I have a camper van. Okay. And by that, I mean an RV that has a shower. <laughs> um, that's a great resolution. Those like one point five million dollar RVs. That's not a resolution. You know what I was watching? <laughs> I was watching really those really cool videos on uh, expedition vehicles. Yeah, those are so tight. Yeah, expedition vehicles are sick. You can have little expeditions. You'd rather just have a van. Expedition vehicles are sick. <laughs> <laughs> so that's your no. Have a different one than you've had like the past three years. No. Yes. No. Yes. Because I want to go to all fifty nine. Yeah. I've only gone to eighteen. Yeah. Um, I think my other one is like this year I want to go to like Japan or something, but we'll see if that actually happens. I got to pay off this MacBook. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's my new year's resolution growing the podcast. Anyway, this has been a great podcast. We, we, uh, we definitely went in with absolutely no fucking idea what we were going to do. Um, As always. I'm going to have to go through this audio, try to bring it up in volume and make it work for the podcast for this week. Um, Again, if it sounds any different, it'll be back to normal on the next one. Um, We just once again switched computers and programs. (laughs) But God damn it. He dropped his drool. God damn it, Brad. Shut the fuck up. (laughs) Um, But yeah, anyway, uh, to close out the podcast, if you have not pressed that subscribe button on Apple Podcasts. Do it. Do it, please. Do it. Have someone do it for you if you Give physically can. Give us a five-star review if you think it, it's enjoyable. And if you don't, Amanda will delete your Fortnite account. <laughs> um, but yeah, do that. Come visit us on uh, 
Instagram, face, uh, Facebook, Instagram and YouTube <laughs> and uh, do share, share the podcast, man. Share it with your friends, your family, um, people who will really find us inappropriate and yell at you for sharing it with them. Um, definitely your boss would love this. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, no, but just share us around. Help us grow. And uh, we'll love you too. If you have any suggestions of people you want us to have on or you think you have someone good for us to have on um, to hang out and talk, uh, let us know. Email us at hotpottycoffeepodcast uh, at gmail.com. And I think I got through everything. I think you did. I think that does it for... Exhausted list. I think that does it for us for 2018. Now I have 20 hours of editing and YouTube videos to make. Hooray. Before Monday. Um... Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Feliz Navidad. That's Merry Christmas, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> Happy Navidad. I don't know. What the, that's Christmas again. It'd be... Happy New Year, motherfuckers. Feliz Nuevo Año. Happy New Year's. <laughs> be safe. Don't die on the New Year or like for a while. Just don't. Just be safe. Um... With that, I think it's going to do it for us for uh, this episode. Uh, we will catch you in 2019. First Monday of 2019. Yeah. yeah. See you next year. Peace. Bye.